The first quarter of 2014 has brought us some pretty cool Monster Jam castings. Here we have the brand new Scooby-Doo. Also have Zombie. Zombie's in the singles too, but I have not been able to find him. I'll pick up this two-pack. That's good for me too. This way at least I get the truck. Oh yeah, another cool thing in the two-pack. I bought Backdraft back draft before when he was in a Monster Duo pack with a, a little a Hot Wheel bottle that came along with the truck. So I picked this one up so that uh, I can get this one so I have an extra. This way I have one to roll around or make future videos with. Normally, this is the kind of stuff that I like to buy with the Monster Jam models. I like to buy pretty cool casting, especially character cars like Scooby-Doo. I know some of you fans just like to buy everything. For me, myself, I kind of I like significant cars or or cars that had something to where I can identify with. Um, you know, when they come out with these other models, like, uh, let me show you an older one. You have here, Bust and Loose. Bust and Loose, it was just the same casting as this car here. Now, maybe they're both fantasy. I don't know. I just, I bought them in a collection. But like for me, I wouldn't necessarily buy this one, but I collect red, white, and blue. So that's why I'm happy to have this one. But if you look at the trucks, the trucks are the same exact tooling. You can see right here. See how wide this is right here? If you look right here, they're the same exact trucks. So I don't know if they're real trucks or, or if they were a fantasy trucks just for the Monster Jam line. I'm not sure. As far as the dog castings, I'm sure you guys know that this is not the only dog casting in the bunch. I'm sure you guys can name them, so I don't have to bring them all out. But Scooby-Doo? Oh, yeah. Everybody likes Scooby-Doo. Let's check out the zombie. Now, I went to my first Monster Jam event. Look at those. This, this thing is so cool. I went to my first Monster Jam event. While I'm doing that, let me give you some cars to look at. Other things I like to collect besides character cars, superheroes. So yeah, those are the kinds of things that I would like to collect. Something that's just not necessarily Monster Jam. Some people would say they're licensed vehicles. So uh, yeah, that, that would be a fair statement. I forgot my dude. Scooby-Doo, you need your dude. Those are kind of fun to have. They don't fit in the trucks. That's that's what I heard. Let's go ahead and take a close-up look at Zombie. Yeah, Zombie was there when I was at the Monster Jam event at Anaheim, California. He, he, he definitely did not perform as well as some of the other trucks. Didn't get as much height. Now, I'm not the uh, aficionado. I'm not the professional guy. I can't talk about Monster Jam with any type of, you know, knowledge or expertise. You guys are the ones who like to collect this stuff. But this thing, this thing is just too funny. This looks awesome. And the truck itself, it had like stuff hanging down on it like it was closed. So uh, I'm definitely happy and I'm to have this. And I don't care if I have to buy a two-pack to get it. I hope to find singles so this way I can just get it at a single price. But that, as you can see, excellent detail in the paint. As with the uh, all Monster Jam trucks, they have a, they have like a water slide decals or something. Just, just really nice. And this one, this is all textured. This is not a flat surface. This is all bumpy, so it's all sculpted very nice. And since we had Captain's Curse in here, maybe there's some Captain's Curse fans here. So I'll let you have a look at him. Now I'm sure some of you guys, I was talking about uh, certain things that are fun to collect. I can imagine people like collecting these dinosaurs and these things with these horns. Uh, when I went to the event, El Toro Loco was there. He was pretty funny. I think uh, they made like he was seeing red and he went, he went after another vehicle. I can't remember who the other one he was playing a chase or tag with. For myself, like I said, certain things, I'm a Hot Wheels collector. So I have to pick up the Hot Wheels Monster Jam. Everybody's got to have Grave Digger. Long time favorite casting. You know, he's been around for decades. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, everybody has a Monster Jam. The only thing is, is, it seems like because Mattel knows that everybody has to have 
the grave digger and he's in every assortment and sometimes there's just too many on the pegs but uh, you know I plan on doing more monster jam videos in the future especially some fun event type things so that's why I'm picking up some of these extra ones and this smooth just beautiful graphics when you see these in person monster jam fans know but uh, people on the outside who don't normally collect the monster gems maybe they don't understand the detail in the paint uh, definitely a quality product and I was talking about uh, models being uh, reused for the casting as far as I know this is the only backdraft but uh, this one here Boun bouncy hunter like I said I picked up a, a bunch I bought somebody's a uh, lot of monster jam trucks so here's another example where the two trucks have the same body style they just have different graphics so with me I have focus there's certain cars that I like to collect because I like character cars uh, you know with this stuff I don't have to buy everything I generally I like this scale it's okay oh yeah check out this I bought this guy's lot I never seen this one before it's called pouncer it's like a panther I believe any of you guys familiar with that one goes back a ways has the uh, metal base so it's an older model so for me I like picking up a certain monster jam especially red white and blue gotta have the red white and blue but pretty much uh, as far as the larger stuff yeah I, I don't do too much of the larger stuff I'll let you guys have that and uh, I'll stick to the smaller stuff okay I lied he might have had one he might have had one larger scale model I had to take that one too anyways have fun with your toys happy collecting bye bye